closing ceremonies today for Bishop Kendrick High School in Norristown, but not the type of burial ceremonies you might think. Students gathered on the school's front lawn this morning to bury their memories chest. In the summer of 1993, Bishop Kenrick High School of Norristown, Pennsylvania, and Archbishop Kennedy High School of Conshohocken, Pennsylvania, closed its doors. The following school year, the two schools would merge and together form a new school called Kennedy Kenrick. For nearly 17 years, Kennedy Kenrick would create a small but strong, close-knit community for its students and its staff to grow and learn with each other. Yet, on June 10, 2010, Kennedy Kenrick closed its doors forever. But for everyone who walked its halls, they will always remember a community united in faith, hope, and love. I loved Kenrick, actually. Kendrick was so much fun. You don't understand. Listen, your high school might have been fun, but it wasn't like Kennedy Kendrick. All right? I'm being serious right now. I'm not even making making jokes. I'm being serious. Kennedy Kendrick was so much fun. I lived 30 minutes away from Kennedy Kendrick, and I still went to Kennedy Kendrick. I didn't know how much fun it was, but I found out, and it was awesome. I loved Kendrick. It wasn't like any other high school that I've ever really heard of. When I, when I tell people about Kennedy Kenrick, they almost think that it's fake. That like we had too much fun. That we were too... That we loved our school a little too much. And some of the things that I really liked about it were how small it was because it made everyone closer. It was like we were like a really huge extended family all being together in the same building every day. It made going to high school a lot easier. And I think that out of every high school in the Archdiocese, we had the most school pride. And even though it closed, unfortunately, we still have the most school pride because I know I still love Kendrick. And even though there was people that didn't like each other and there was conflict, if there was ever like Kendrick versus another high school, everyone who was from Kendrick, like there wouldn't be a Benedict Arnold. And there was conflict in it, but there, we were still a big family. It was like, if you fight with your cousins, they're still your cousins. Like, you're still the people at Kenrick. Kennedy Kenrick was a great time in my life. Uh, it was just such a great school because it was, you know, very tiny, it was small, and everyone knew each other, you know. At graduation, every time somebody would go up, you would say, oh, I, like, I know that person. And it's a, it's a very good feeling. It was a small school, maybe about four to 500 students. And that made you feel a lot more like a family member than a student. You never went through the motions because you knew everyone. Most people were your friends, or at least knew you somehow. The teachers knew who you were and you knew all the teachers. I was a teacher at Kennedy Kendrick Catholic High School in Norristown. And I have to tell you something, it's like 10 of the best years of my life. And I totally loved it. Uh, and what really amazed me was that Kennedy Kendrick, the students, were really like a family, very close-knit. Just, you'd be in the hall hearing them go by and there'd be a lot of smiles, a lot of laughter. And um, it was just a great experience as a teacher. And I think from the student perspective too, from what the students say, a lot of friendships have developed and people have stayed close even after graduation. At the end of my first year teaching at Kennedy Kenrick, I was convinced that I wouldn't be returning, so I had uh, said goodbye to a lot of the friends that I had made there. And then over the summer, I got a call from Father Alan Ocon, who was the president, and he asked me to return to Kennedy Kenrick as the school minister because the uh, school minister up to that point had taken a job in Raleigh, North Carolina. So I gladly accepted the position and returned to Kennedy Kenrick as the school minister. It turned out to be one of the best years of my life and one of the most rewarding years. At the end of the year, I remember just being uh, so uh, upset when it was closing and I went to the chapel during my last time in that building and I just, knelt at the step in the chapel and at that time uh, the blessed sacrament was still reserved in the chapel and I said a prayer I, I said a prayer for all of the alumni all of the, the students 
that I had known and interacted with there, my colleagues and past teachers that I never associated with that were before me. And I uh, thanked God for all of that and, and just prayed that everybody would be okay as we went out from there. And I hoped that we could take outside of this place not only everything that we learned in the classroom, but everything that we learned about life. I went into Kennedy Cannery, a nervous kid who had no idea what to expect about life. After Kennerick, I had a greater sense of my identity as a person and the importance of friendship and faith. The in-between stage is what changed me forever. Kennerick gave me some of my best friends, and I was taught that each person has much value as much as I do. It taught me that nothing is given in this life, and that if you want something, you have to work as hard as you can to go out and get it. I learned to work hard in every aspect of my life, whether it was school, or making time for my family, or my friends. Kendrick is the foundation of my life. I may not always consciously think about it, but I do not need to, because it frames who I am today. Everyone that you talk to will tell you that Kennedy Kendrick was a family. And when you're in a family, you are a part of something that is much greater than just you as an individual. You are a part of a community that is constantly helping you grow and mature. So when somebody asks me how my high school experience changed me, I give them an honest answer. I don't know. I don't know because Kennedy Kenrick is still changing me and making me into a better person. Kennedy Kenrick was not just a building. It was a community. We will always have each other and the relationships that we made. And because of that, we will all continue to help each other grow. Because of Kennedy Kenrick, we are and always will be united in faith, hope, and love. would merge together to form Kennedy Kenrick Catholic High School. Kennedy Kenrick adopted the colors blue in honor of St. Matthews and Archbishop Kennedy and gold in honor of St. Patrick's and Bishop Kenrick. Today, June 10th, 2010, marks the last day of 144 years of Catholic secondary education in our community. The future year will hear our song of victory. Hail Kennedy Kenner, Catholic College.